Okay, we're in Toulouse of France and we've got my good friend here who's the security of uh, the hostel here. And as you can see, he's very tall, all right? And what we're doing in this video here, and he's volunteered to give me a hand, is to show the differences and understanding the Chum Q applications, especially, not only are you bridging the gap, but you have to bridge the gap against someone who's incredibly tall and heavy as well, and strong, because you know he's not lacking in strength, trust me. But let's look, let's look at the situation. If he throws me a punch, right? Okay, look, look at the difference between my punch and his. I mean, he's not even extending his shoulder yet, right? This is a real problem for me. Even, even if I extend my scapula, right, I can't reach him. If I go to Bilzi, I still can't reach him, right? It's, it's a real problem. So, what do we do? If we're talking about street fighting situation, right, we need to make sure we bridge the gap that we don't run in like idiots. Because if I'm from here and I run in, he just poof, right, what am I going to do? Now you see that my center line has a problem here, all right? My center line here is not applicable. So in this case here, if the punch comes, right, look at where my energy is going. It has to go in this direction here. So he throws a punch, I control. And now I have to learn to move in and destroy his structure as well. Now, being a small person, right, compared to him, right, he actually weighs, what, 32 kilos more than me. If he puts pressure, okay, I can still absorb his pressure if I have good structure. But this structure needs to walk towards me, see? And I can shift it. So if I have this control on his body, and he throws me a punch, and I can control, come in, my structure, I cannot, like I was saying before, jump over him, sorry, I cannot jump over him, right? Okay, because here he just pushed me away. Push, push. push. It's easy. If I maintain my structure, you push, you push me, it's not so easy. Huh? Not so easy. So I can now beat his structure because I am connected. So if I have good control, then I can start hitting. I can knee, okay, and do this. This is very, very important. Of course, it's not easy, but you, it's not often you can work with someone so tall, all right? But it's good to have him. I'm trying to convince him to join our classes. So let's tell him, yeah, come, come, come. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions about this problem, seeing that we've got in here? We'll take full advantage of this. Yeah? If he so uh, one and two coming. If he throws a one and two, I will still come in, see? I will still come in close and come in and control him. Yeah? <laughs> I will still come in and control him. Right? So the idea, the idea is I do not want to give him a second chance. If I do, he will be powerful, he will hurt. You know, just explain in French as well. Nicolas, c'est vraiment de lui laisser aucune chance de faire une deuxième action derrière. Et vraiment fermer tout de suite tout son énergie. Essayer de casser sa structure. And you really need to make sure he doesn't get any space because obviously he's going to be very powerful right look just tend to relax okay. right he's going to be very tend to relax okay he's going to be very powerful at this range okay at this range here is not so powerful okay if he throws punch go Tell him to hit hard. Go. Tell him go, 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 go. It's not so easy for him to get power. Yeah, it's not so easy, huh? Ask him if I can hit him in the shoulder. Just from here. Boom. Is it okay? Yeah. It's very powerful. Huh? So you know, at close range, I can keep my stability. Right? Understand? So this is the idea. From long range, if I give him his range, I'm going to have a lot of problems here. As soon as I close in, it's much more difficult. Much more difficult for him. This is very, very important huh? for Wing Chun people. You going to ask a question? Yeah. What timing would you use to come in? Timing? Yes. At this range here, I'll let him do the first move. It's very hard to, at this range here, it's not like a smaller person, right? 
that I have to fear his range because he's got, what, 20 centimeters on me. So I would allow him to attack first. So if he attacks me first, you will come and attack me. Boom, I have to move in straight. See, I already moved out of the center line. And then come in, right? That's the idea. But if you go in first, it's risky. Because he's got, he's got much power from this range here. He's got a lot of power from here to here. And if he gets you here, at this range, that's it. So the show's over. You've got 130 kilos transmitted through here. You're going to go down like a set of potatoes. So you need to learn to divert, create the bridge like we do in Country and Cube. But I have to pounce on him as soon as I do it. And I can't give him time to get a second hit. Does that make sense? And I always have to stay close to him. Because as soon as he pushes me away, yeah, bang, he hits me again. If I'm closer, he has to work for it, right? He has to push me away, right? So he push, I'm not gonna let him push. Come on, you push. I feel like, uh, yeah, you push. I feel like Frodo uh, from the Lord of the Rings. You know, like the giants, you know? <laughs> but I have to stay close to him. Any other questions? Okay, just take a film of the seminar who the who's attending, just to scan around quickly. And here we are to Lord of France. That's really quick to go. <laughs> okay, and let's thank him very much. Thank you.